Hi, my name is Rosa and I will be here with number 822 Hi, good day everyone. I'm Anita Shubham, daughter of Pira Murugan and my matrix number is 8228196. Hello everyone, my name is Krishida Sarukuma and my matrix number is 822B1066. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Rabi Nadeshi and Binti Azri. My matrix number is 8228192. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Itaisha Binti Sparil and my matrix number is 8228118. Hi, good day everyone. My name is Rosina Shari Munyandi and my matrix number is 8228152. Assalamu alaikum and hi. My name is Kuti Farhan Adam Binti Tajiru. My matrix number is 8228126. Firstly, on this assignment, we focus on financial analysis, measuring firm performance, and we assess the financial position of the two operating systems. So, we choose the station industry, which is Bonia Corporation in Europe, and H&M Group. Next, we move to business features. First company is Bonia. Bonia is the new brand in Malaysia. Bonia is produced in 1974 by Chang Sang Sen in Singapore. Bonia is originated as a world center and a retailer of middle school. We move to H&M. H&M is a multinational person retail, which has more than 4,000 stores spanning across 70 markets in South Malaysia. It is also a fast fashion business model. The current ratio held by the HM for the year 2021 recorded the highest of 1.29 times. So, a current ratio greater than 1 indicates a reasonable short term financial condition. Next, the asset test ratio held by HM shows that the highest in 2021 as much as 0.68 times, while the lowest in 2020 as much as 0.48 times. A consistently high asset test ratio can indicate a strong financial position, while a low or declining ratio can raise questions about a business financial or operational effectiveness. Okay, next, this graph shows that the average collection period. In 2022, there is a decrease in average collection period from 6 to 5 days. A shorter collection period implies growth in the company's liquidity. This shows HM improved ability to effectively Manage account receivable. Next, account receivable turnover. HM turnover is 60.61 times in 2020 and will increase continuously to 65.04 times in 2021. The turnover ratio reaches 74.17 times in 2022 and it continues to uh, increase. So the graph shows that HM is ability to recover account receivable and is uh, improving. So a larger turnover ratio indicates that the business collects its receivables faster. The working capital turnover in 2020 record the highest which is 20.55 times and it shows a positive sign. Next, the inventory turnover was better in 2020 by 2.45 times, reflecting the shorter cycle, and the value shows a gradual increase for each year. In 2020, the HM days inventory outstanding was recorded at 149 days, decreasing to 145 days in 2021. So this graph shows a gradual improvement in operational and financial efficiency, and HM shows the ability to turn inventory into cash relatively quickly. But although the process still takes time. The highest debt ratio for HM in 2022 is 72%. A higher debt ratio makes uh, it more difficult for a company to borrow money. Therefore, in my perspective, the better debt ratio is in 2021, which is a lower value of 66.6%. HM total asset turnover increased dramatically in 2022 from 1.11 times to 1.23 times. The graph illustrates how well HM uses its resources to generate revenue or sales. Hi, I'm Amira. Now, I will explain the next ratio, the fixed asset turnover ratio. The analysis shows that H&M is effici efficiently using its asset in 2022 as it has the highest value. Other than that, gross profit margin and net profit margin. We can conclude that H&M generates more profit from its sale compared to other years in 2021 since it recorded the highest value. In addition, return on asset recorded a greater amount in 2021 but still under the optimal scale as the company is still recovering from the COVID-19 pandemic. Lastly, the leverage ratio. H&M long-term debt to equity shows the highest value of the three years, which indicates that the company is not efficiently managing its long-term debt. Next, I will discuss the liquidity ratio of Bonia Corporation Berhad. The current ratio and asset test ratio. According to the analysis, Bonia obtained a greater current ratio in 2021 compared to other years, suggesting that the year 2021 has a good liquidity position. However, the highest value of the asset test ratio is in 2022 with 2.16 times. Moreover, the average collection period, ACP, shows the lowest ACP in 2020 with 54 days. A shorter period of ACP shows that the Bonia is growing. Other than that, account receivable turnover, the year 2020, has the best ART with its highest value of 6.72 times, indicate that the company was collecting its outstanding receivable more often. Lastly, Bonia's inventory turnover has been declining over three years, which may indicate an efficiency in managing inventory. Yet, the year 2020 still has a greater value than other year. The working capital turnover ratio measures how effectively a company uses its working capital to generate sales. In 2020, healthy ratio of 2.14 suggests the effectiveness of using working capital. But in 2021, there is a dip to 1.93 indicate the potential issue in managing the working capital effectively. But after that, in 2022, rebounding to 2.1, it suggests that Bonio have possibly improved its operation effectively or increased the sale, resulting in better working capital turnover.
The next is daily inventory outstanding ratio. In 2020, at 240, Bonio had a slower inventory turnover, implying potential cash stack in an unsold good. But in 2020, it's improved to 179 days, indicates some progress in the inventory management. Furthermore, in 2022, reduction to 140 days reflects a commendable effort in streaming the inventory progress, free upping the cash, and engaging the liquidity. Continue with depth ratio analysis. In 2020, a ratio of 31.63 was within the moderate range, but in 2021 and 2022, the escalating trend towards 35% indicate a growing reliance on depth, which might be a concern of, if not accompanied by proper need, growth in a set of learning. Asset turnover ratio provides insight of how effectively a company uses its asset to generate sales. A declining from 0.61 in 2020 to 0.45 in 2021 suggests a drop in asset effectively, but its recovery to 0.52 in 2022 is promising. Fixed asset turnover, the declining from 1.14 in 2020 to 0.84 in 2021 indicate the underutilization of fixed asset. However, the 2022 figure of 1.0 suggests improvement and implementation of better utilization of potential disposable. Continue with profit margin ratio offer insight into a company's ability to manage cost and generate profit from its operation. Gross profit margin, despite minor fluctuation in 2022, figure of 57.8% indicates strong control over the production cost or possibility higher production pricing. Net profit margin, a sign leap of 2020 to 2021 indicates improved operation effectively or reducing expenses, driving higher net learning. Return on assets ROA measure how effectively a company uses asset to generate profit. A raising in ROA indicate better asset utilization and profitability. The consistent growth from 0.0193 in 2020 to 0.0873 in 2022 significant bonus engagement, operation and asset management strategy, delivering greater return to the stakeholders. Long-term debt to the equity ratio. This ratio cards a company's financial leverage and risk exposure. 2021 peak, a ratio of 0.4278 indicate a higher reliance on debt potential elevating financial risk. 2022, the dip into 0.3123 suggests a possible devaluation of increasing shareholder equity which can engage financial stability and reliance. Hi, I'm Aisha. Now I will explain the vertical analysis of H&M Group versus Bonia Corporation Berhad. I'm going to explain on liquidity ratio. Firstly, color ratio between H&M and Bonia. Upon analyzing the color ratio throughout the three years, it is evident that Bonia consistently maintains an excellent color ratio compared to H&M. This is due to Bonia had a higher value, means they have a higher capacity to meet its immediate financial obligations using its existing assets. Next is acid test ratio. We can say that Bonia consistently maintains a superior acid test ratio. It is because Bonia's value is above 1, meanwhile H&M is below 1. These findings indicate that Bonia possesses a superior liquidity position. Moreover, the average collection prior ratio. According to the graph, H&M continues, continuously maintains a higher SCP than Bonia because H&M has a shorter cycle period among the 3 years. A shorter SCP signifies that the organization can collect money faster. In addition, the days inventory was a standing ratio. We will say that both company has the same level of DIO, as they have more than 100 days, which indicates that the inventory are not managed efficiently. Next is account receivable turnover ratio. H&M consistently maintain a higher ART than Bonia, as H&M's IRT is above 10 days, meanwhile Bonia's ART is below 10 days, which indicates ineffective collection procedures. Other than that, inventory turnover ratio. Bonia demonstrates superior proficiency in inventory turnover management, as Bonia had the lowest ratio compared to H&M. And lastly, the working capital turnover ratio. Over the course of three years, it is evident that Bonia exhibits a superior working capital turnover compared to H&M. Bonia consistently maintains a ratio that aligns with the optimal scale, whereas H&M does not. So the first graph is debt ratio graph. It can be concluded that Bonia Corporation Berhad has a better debt ratio compared to H&M as they have the lowest value among the three years. Next is total asset turnover graph and fixed asset turnover graph. So in this graph, it shows that H&M has continuously outperformed Bonia in terms of total asset turnover ratios. This suggests that H&M makes more money overall per unit of total assets on average and efficiency in using its total assets to drive sales. And H&M constantly has higher ratios for fixed asset turnover than Bonia. This means that for each unit of fixed assets, H&M makes more money and H&M is more efficient in using its asset to make sales. Next, the gross profit margin graph. Bonia's gross profit margin in 2022 indicates significant growth compared to H&M, which may point to improvements in the product mix or more efficiency. Next, the net profit margin. In this graph, Bonia had a high net profit margin compared to H&M throughout the three years. So it shows that Bonia's ability to generate profit from its business is at the peak level compared to H&M. And next is the return on assets graph. So the steady rise in ROA indicates that Bonia has been increasingly pro-efficient at turning uh, profit over the years from its asset compared to H&M. And lastly, the long-term debt to equity. Bonia Corporation Bahad is better at managing its debt as they have the lowest value as Bonia's long-term debt equity uh, is lower compared to H&M and could point to a less dependent financial structure that is more prudent. Lastly, I'm going to explain about conclusion and recommendation. Conclusion. In analysis, the financial performance of H&M Pro and Bonia Corporation Berhad, it can be seen that Bonia shows separately in liquidity, profitability, and financial effectiveness. Nevertheless, H&M stand out in efficient and receivable management. To improve their organization performance, both firms can take the following steps. Recommendation for H&M Group. H&M can focus their effort on improving efficiently in inventory management and reducing the receivable collection period. Immediately, increasing their net profit margin percent can be a top agenda item while keeping operation expenses under control. In addition, research and development R&D to integrate new technology and innovation in their supply chain can be applied to improve operation effectively. Next recommendation for Bonia Corporation Berhad. Bonia should maintain focus on the effectiveness of their operation management, which have given positive results. Measure to speed up the collection period can also have increased financial liquidity. While maintaining their quality of its product, Bonia can explore new market opportunity and more proactive marketing strategy to increase sales and profit. Environment in research and development R&D of new product can also increase their competitiveness in the industry. 
by taking the step. HM and Wanya can street their financial position and provide added value to their shareholder by competing effectively in an increasingly challenging business environment. Thank you, Ms. Thank you for your attention and please time watching this video. Hopefully, the idea we share can be a source of impression. See you on the next edition. Thank you.